Welcome to the Scott and Gary Show. Today we have very special guests from way down in Texas. We've got the butthole surface here. Let's give them a big hand. Yeah. You haven't heard them yet, so I don't know. Oh, you gonna play now? No, 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 I have to finish speaking. Okay, I'd like to greet, this is the first show we've done where I know that San Francisco, Boston, Ohio, and Uganda are picking us up. All those public access systems are going to carry us now, so I'd like to say hello to San Francisco, and Boston, and Ohio, and Uganda. I'd also like to have very special wishes to a couple of fans of mine who couldn't come down today. Jason on McDougal Street, Joanne on 72nd Street, and we have, let's see, who else? Leslie Kathy, Leslie Kathy. He knows them. Aren't they great people? They are. Let's hear from all my fans. Also, a very got a letter from Rob Russo. Got a letter from Rob Russo. You want to read it? No, 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 no. No, you know why? Sorry, 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 sorry. Only I'm sorry. supposed to read it. You know why? It says Scott and Gary. Oh no. And I promised Rob Russo that I was going to read this letter on air. I made a direct promise to him, so now I'm going to do that. Okay. Is it okay? Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I love it. It's okay. 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 I can only read this on air. So everybody ready? Everybody ready? Pretty good letter. Also, I have a very special announcement. Our sound man, Scott Foster, will. It's <laughs> quiet, please, all right? All right, it's my show. Listen, Scott Foster, our sound man, will be getting married next week. So let's give Scott a big hand. I hope Scott and his fine uh, bride, Barbara, will be very happy. Uh, Maureen, Maureen, I'm sorry. <laughs> but now, we'd like to introduce to you the Butthole Surfers.
to uh, speak to the butthole surface for a minute, if everybody's dressed and ready. <laughs> Come on, guys. What do you want to know? <laughs> Gibby, you'll be ready in a few minutes, won't you? Ready Whoa, now. wait a minute. Maybe. Girls, close your eyes. What? What's going on? We're going to have a little interview here. <clears throat> Can we sit down? Is it okay if we sit down, everybody? Oh. Gary, nod your head. Can we sit down? Let's sit down. Cigarette? Okay. Sure, I've got a cigarette. Okay, Terrence, give me a hand here. I've used condoms. <laughs> <laughs> I love meeting the big stars. <laughs> well, about big stars when they're fucking up bad. No, you know, guys aren't fucking up bad. I've used oh. condoms. He said that before, didn't he? Well, I was just wondering, I'd like everybody, when I speak to them, to speak into the mic, to give us your names and what high schools you go to and how no old you way, are. No way, no oh. way, no way. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> My name's King, I'm 42, I'm a retired bricklayer. My name is Teresa, I'm 60, I'm a secretary. <laughs> My name is Gibby, I can't think of anything funny to say. Gibby's a great guy, he can be funny though sometimes. Gibby, he's used condoms too. Oh, okay, you wanna... I'll use two condoms. <laughs> <laughs> Teresa, you wanna hold on to that? Hold it, introduce yeah. my mole. Uh, wait a minute, wait, wait, quiet, 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 we have, to, we have to hear this. Oh, wow. That was great. That was great. I know what it was. 
Okay, well, I'll keep you just walking around. Ooh, that sounds a lot better. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Who likes feedback here? Anybody like feedback? Yeah. I was wondering, where are you guys are from? Because I know you're not from Brooklyn. around here. Brooklyn? From Brooklyn? No. <laughs> up your ass. Up my ass from up. Ah, that's the pain I've been having of late. <laughs> man, I swear I'm bummed, man. All what? my things. Why are you bummed? Uh, Is that your suitcase? He's got lots of things. Oh. Oh, isn't that sweet? I, you could wash your clothes and hang them from his nipple now. That's really rude. I was wondering. Turn that down, all right? Well, since it's live TV and like our bass amp was screwing up. And not it screwed up. No, it didn't screw up. It stopped working. The amp just stopped working? Everything. You know, I had a real funny little opening I was going to use with you guys. You're I was going right. to say... You're really all right. You're I, yeah, I know. Some You're people think right, so. Man. I was going to say, I wanted to shoot the breeze or break some wind with the butthole surface. Not everybody could think of that. Only Scott Lewis can. We did eat beans last night. Does anybody have a lighter? No. Uh, now, I was wondering, do, does everybody here in the band... Band? Yeah. Does everybody here oh, write right. the songs? Or is it just like individual efforts? Some or, underwear? Plus, Somebody want to answer that, please? <laughs> yeah, that's good to have you back. Yeah, guy. Do you want a microphone? I got it's one. Say this. My song. bloody underwear I've misplaced. It's a drag. Oh, Lord. Oh, don't man, worry about really the underwear. It's part of the show, man. That's a bummer, man. The whole thing's like falling apart. Like, we might see his weenie before it's all over. No, 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 no. You don't want to see that, do you? Yeah. <laughs> Towards the end. Do you notice that my feet match his here? Isn't that great? We... Good answer. Good answer. <laughs> we worked that out before the show. I just wanted to know that. <laughs> Now, as back to my first question, which oh, will sure. probably be my we'll only question. As as okay, this is a very serious problem. Who writes most of the material here for the band? Uh, I'm going to start writing the songs to make the whole world sing, and songs that have sold millions. <laughs> you must be Julio Iglesias. That's right, man. I am Julio Iglesias. Good answer! Good answer! Five points for Gibby. Oh, is this the Ian Curtis game? <laughs> no, I was wondering. I'm glad y'all are having such a good time tonight. Is everybody having a good time here? Oh, yeah! Where else can you see the butthole source but the Scott and Gary show, right? Yeah! Uganda? Is that like Uganda? We've got $100 for the person in the studio audience who can guess what brand of condom we use. Shut Ramsey! <laughs> God. <laughs> God. <laughs> it, was like, it was a joke, man. I'm sorry. Okay, my other question was... We didn't even have $100. Either. A, lot of my, a lot of your songs, a lot of my songs, a lot of your songs deal with like... Frustration, violence, rage. I want to know, are those from personal experiences? All of them. Absolutely. Absolutely, Absolutely. Bob. All of them. Scott, Scott. Same okay. Scott. It's okay, sorry. Bob. Um, <laughs> honest mistake. Uh, yeah. Violence, violent experiences. I was in a car wreck a couple of years ago. I was in a really? I woke up. Was it a head first injury? <laughs> it was, as a matter of fact. You know, check it out. I got a scar. Can you see that scar up there? Wow. I see, wow. some, I I see some, some of this too crawling around in there, but I don't like, see. I just moved some glass just like about a year ago and happened three years ago. Yeah, that's what You're Gary, right? right? Or are you Scott? Scott. Okay, Scott. Scott. Kick ass. You're real nice to give me. He'll show you his mole. You show it to us. Where is it? That, that proves I'm nice, right? <laughs> that's right. Yeah, you're very nice. Um. <laughs> oh. Now from here, now right now this show is taped in New York City. My aunt. But the buttholes are going to be traveling on. And we're going to ask the butthole where they're traveling on to because we can't wait for them to leave now. Where are you guys going to next? Oh, uh, everyone always asks that question. Up your ass, we're going to go yeah. back over to Brooklyn. Back Actually, we're going to go see the Frightwig show. Really? Yeah, yeah over at uh, Covering my mind. Oh, Husker Du, yeah. Where's your little doggy? They brought their dog. What's the dog? Oh, fucking Farner. Let's go get Farner. Hurry up. Come on. Come on, Gibby. Come on, Gibby. Go, Gibby. Go, Gibby. Come on, Gibby. Come on, Gibby. Uh, Teresa. <laughs> Where's the dog? Oh, Teresa. Uh, Fuck well, the dog. Yeah. Well, what you would have seen if Farner was here, you would have seen a brown dog come walking into the room. I would have made a few jokes. I would lift up her tail. A piece of dog food would have dropped from underneath her tail, and she would have turned around and eaten it. She would have. And it, it would have been funny. It really would have. It, wow. And you think, <laughs> you think only watching Channel 13 with public broadcasting you get shows about animals, right? You could have gotten it right here. I was wondering, Teresa, yes? don't your parents worry about you hanging out with these guys? I know, if you were my daughter, I'd beat the hell out of you for doing it. They're, they're womblings. She's okay with that. They're womblings. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We have to touch the subject here. Our parents Shh. don't mind at all. They don't? No. Teresa and I come from the same womb. Were you in the army? Yeah, I was in the army. <laughs> wow, which one? Your commander. Salvation <laughs> army? Up your ass. That's what General up your ass. What are you saying in English vocabulary? It's just incredible. Um, um, yeah, I'm sorry. Now, yeah, so no, you're not college graduates for nothing. You are all like 
been to college and stuff. That's what. Oh, oh, wait, I got, I got a question. I must ask Gibby this. I heard. Here's the lighter. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I heard that you gave up a lucrative. I actually read you gave up a lucrative job with the Texas accounting firm. No, it's the biggest accounting firm in the world, Pete Marwick Mitchell. What were you, what were you doing for them? I was a staff auditor. <laughs> Staff order? Really? Yeah. Does that mean we have 10 minutes to go? No, actually, that's a very strange signal. It means actually there's 13 minutes left. I have to start winding down the interview, so in case it's a good question. <laughs> God, man. Stop being gay. What about a bunch of men? Men, men, men. Hey. <laughs> what can I do? You have to put up with this when you're in TV. Uh, well, in, yeah. On TV. <laughs> yeah. On TV? Hey, aren't you supposed to be asking the questions? You can ask me a question. No. Well, I don't mean to put you on the spot. Come on, you're quick. Come on. No. Uh, you can go over and play with that thing now, aren't you? Does this uh, microphone work? Does this mic work? Well, just tell working? us. You have a new record out, right? A live EP? Yeah, we did a live EP out. We're going to have an album come out by... Uh, uh, See, when you discuss by Christmas. material yeah. goods, one then by everybody Christmas. listens to you. <laughs> and it was weird. Oh, let me explain to the audience that I really couldn't hear anything that I was saying. Nor can I now. Did you know what you were saying? <laughs> uh, no, because I really couldn't hear it. The well, and I didn't hear anything. here's an opportunity to do some more of that because there's more All butthole right. surface. Let's go! Come on, Al. Check. Uh, I'm not going to get a monitor here either.
we have time for another one? Yeah!